I'm Donny Osmond. You can come out now, Marie. <laughs> and this is my kid sister. <laughs> Donny and Marie Osmond, the iconic sibling duo, have long been celebrated for their vibrant on screen personas and melodious harmonies. I'm leaving it all up to you. You As America's sweethearts, they have dazzled audiences for decades with their magnetic charm and wholesome image. Yet, as with many luminaries, the glittering spotlight often masks the shadows. Behind their beaming smiles and effervescent performances hid a myriad of struggles, trials, and personal battles that remained unseen for years. This video seeks to delve beyond the stage, exploring the tumultuous journey of these two stars, unraveling the intricate tapestry of fame, family, and the unwavering spirit of survival. The Rise of the Osmonds In the annals of music history, few family names shine as brilliantly as the Osmonds. Born into the limelight, Donny Osmond's initiation into the world of stardom began when he was just a mere five years old. This precocious start set the tone for what would be a soaring trajectory, not just for him, but for his entire family. The Osmonds, with their unique blend of harmonies, quickly captivated the hearts of millions. As they dazzled audiences with their pristine image and compelling tunes, they emerged as household names in no time. During their early days, the Osmonds primarily gravitated towards barbershop and gospel styles. These genres, with their intricate harmonies and soulful melodies, seemed a perfect match for the family's vocal strengths. However, as the music landscape of the 1960s evolved, so did the Osmonds. By the 1970s, a decade known for its eclectic mix of musical influences and styles, the Osmonds made a bold move. They transitioned from their barbershop and gospel roots to the more contemporary and commercial sounds of bubblegum pop. This transformation was both audacious and risky, yet it paid off in dividends. Their new sound resonated with the younger generation, and soon, Osmond Mania was born. While the entire family basked in the glow of success, it was Donnie who added a unique spark to the ensemble. As the lead vocalist, his voice became synonymous with the Osmond brand. His youthful energy and undeniable charisma were pivotal in elevating the group to international stardom. The media and fans alike were enamored by him. The name Donny Osmond was on everyone's lips, and his face graced countless magazine covers. However, as Donny soared to unimaginable heights, his sister Marie wasn't far behind. Inspired by her brother's monumental success, Marie ventured into show business with an independent spirit. Though her journey was marked by its own set of challenges, she carved out a niche for herself with hits like Paper Roses. Marie's individual success showcased the depth of talent within the Osmond family and further proved that their success was not just a fleeting moment in the sun, but a testament to their hard work, dedication, and undeniable talent. Yet as the decade progressed, a notable shift began to emerge. The music industry, ever-evolving and fickle, started to witness new faces and sounds. The Osmonds, once the reigning champions of the pop world, were now contending with new competitors like the Bay City Rollers. Their once unshakable position was beginning to waver. However, what remained consistent was their ability to adapt, evolve, and stay relevant. As the curtains came down on the 1970s, the Osmonds had firmly established themselves as not just another musical act, but as legends in their own right. Their journey, marked by incredible highs, strategic pivots, and an unwavering commitment to their craft, serves as a compelling chronicle of the price and prize of fame. The Challenges of Childhood Fame For many, childhood is a time of innocence, carefree days, and exploration. However, for a select few like Donny Osmond, it becomes an era marked by the blinding lights of fame, a stage, and a microphone. As the world marveled at his talent and charisma, few paused to consider the weight of the crown worn by a child star. Introduced to the entertainment industry at the tender age of five, Donny was thrust into a world that is often less forgiving than it appears. 
The very environment that celebrates talent can simultaneously be ruthlessly demanding. The limelight, while illuminating his prodigious talent, also cast long and often intimidating shadows. From rehearsals to performances, interviews to photo shoots, the rhythm of his days was set not by the typical routines of a child, but by the incessant drumbeat of the entertainment industry. Being in the public eye at such an impressionable age comes with its unique set of challenges. For Donnie, it meant grappling with the dual realities of being a child and a star. This is not a puppy love. While his peers indulged in play and school, Donnie was navigating the complexities of fame. This precocity, while endearing to the audience, posed a significant challenge. The expectations were sky high and the margin for error minuscule. Every performance was scrutinized, every note analyzed, and every gesture discussed. Yet Donnie, with his innate talent, managed to captivate audiences effortlessly. However, beneath the surface, the relentless pressure was palpable. The pros and cons of fame, which many encounter in their adulthood, were experienced by Donnie during his formative years. While the accolades and admiration were intoxicating, the weight of expectations and the fear of letting down his fans, family, and himself was a constant companion. Moreover, as the lead vocalist and the undeniable star of the Osmonds, much of the group's success hinged on his young shoulders. This sense of responsibility, often overwhelming for adults, was born by a child. Donnie wasn't just performing for applause, he was ensuring that the Osmond brand thrived, that concert tickets sold out, albums were purchased, and television ratings soared. His youthful exuberance, often perceived as effortless, was, in reality, a result of dedication, hard work, and perhaps a sense of duty that was well beyond his years. Yet through these challenges, Donnie exhibited a resilience that became a hallmark of his career. He learned early on that fame was a double-edged sword, offering opportunities on one side and challenges on the other. This realization, albeit daunting, equipped him with a maturity that many of his peers lacked. His ability to handle the highs and lows, to find a balance between his personal and professional life, and to remain grounded despite the whirlwind of stardom, is a testament to his strength of character. In the annals of entertainment, many child prodigies have come and gone, their flames burning bright and extinguishing just as quickly. However, Donny Osmond's journey from a child star to a lasting icon serves as a poignant narrative. It's a story not just of talent and fame, but of grit, determination, and the indomitable spirit of a young boy who faced the challenges of childhood fame head-on and emerged triumphant. Marie's Individual Journey While the Osmond family name reverberated globally, it would be a grievous oversight to consider their story without delving into Marie's individual journey. As the only female Osmond in a bustling industry during the tumultuous 70s, her path, though paved with stardom, was also riddled with challenges that were uniquely hers. Marie Osmond's entry into the world of entertainment was undeniably influenced by the towering success of her brothers. Yet even in the shadow of their immense fame, she carved out a niche for herself. Her foray into the business was marked by hits of her own, with the particularly memorable tune, Paper Roses, echoing the sentiments of many. It wasn't merely her mellifluous voice that garnered attention, it was the emotional depth with which she rendered her songs, making them resonate deeply with her audience. But for every ascent, there are valleys. While her career was studded with professional highs, it was interspersed with personal lows. The spotlight that shone so brightly on her, illuminating her successes, also starkly highlighted her struggles. The burden of expectations and the public's insatiable curiosity made every challenge she faced doubly hard. Each misstep, every hurdle, wasn't just a personal ordeal, but became fodder for public discussion, a scrutiny that many would find suffocating. One of the most heart-wrenching episodes from Marie's journey came to light in 2015 when she recounted a particularly traumatic incident. She detailed an encounter where producers, disregarding her evident frailty at weighing merely 103 pounds, subjected her to cruel comments, labeling her disgusting and accusing her of being a disgrace to her family. Such starkly callous episodes serve as a brutal reminder that the world of showbiz, often perceived as glitzy and glamorous, 
has its dark underbellies. These experiences not only had a profound impact on her self-worth, but also led her down a path of severe dietary restrictions, affecting her physical health gravely. Yet, amidst these challenges, Marie's bond with her family remained her bedrock. Despite achieving solo success, she never distanced herself from her roots. Time and again, she returned to perform alongside her brothers, reigniting the familial magic that had initially catapulted the Osmonds to fame. This oscillation between her solo career and her association with her family showcased not just her versatility as an artist, but also her deep-rooted sense of belonging and loyalty. Today, as we look back at the era that was and the legacy of the Osmonds, Marie's journey stands as a testament to the power of perseverance. Her story is not just that of an artist, but of a woman who, time and again, picked herself up, dusted off the setbacks, and soldiered on. Through her trials and tribulations, successes and comebacks, Marie Osmond remains an emblem of determination, a beacon for countless others navigating the treacherous waters of fame. Adapting to Changing Times The 1970s was an era of seismic shifts in the music world. The decade bore witness to the decline of some genres and the meteoric rise of others. As the musical landscape transformed, so too did the tastes and preferences of listeners. For artists who had tasted success in the earlier part of the decade, the latter half presented a formidable challenge. Adapt to the evolving environment or risk being left behind. Donnie and Marie Osmond, the beloved sibling duo, weren't immune to these challenges. After basking in the spotlight during the height of Osmond mania in the early 1970s, they began to feel the pressure as their brand of music became overshadowed by newer, contemporary sounds. The Bay City Rollers, among others, began to capture the attention of audiences, signaling a shift in musical tastes. It's a well-trodden path in the music industry. Artists, after reaching the pinnacle of success, often find themselves grappling with the challenge of staying relevant. And Donnie and Marie were no exceptions. However, what set them apart was their ability to recognize the signs early and their willingness to adapt. Donnie, sensing the changing winds, attempted to branch out on his own. He hoped that a solo career might offer him the freedom to experiment with a more contemporary sound and image. This endeavor led him to dabble in the disco trend, a genre that was taking the world by storm. While he enjoyed some successes, it wasn't enough to eclipse the towering achievements of the Osmond family brand. Marie, on the other hand, had her struggles, particularly given the intense competition and the unique pressures she faced as the only female Osmond in showbiz. However, she never shied away from reinventing herself, displaying an uncanny ability to understand the pulse of the audience. However, the true genius of the duo lay in their decision to combine their individual strengths. Realizing that their collective charisma was unparalleled, they ventured into a collaborative project. The result was an explosion of hits, including chart toppers like Morning Side of the Mountain and I'm Leaving It All Up to You. These songs not only reaffirmed their place in the musical cosmos, but also displayed their agility in adapting to contemporary sounds. The story of Donnie and Marie in the 1970s is one of evolution. Their journey is emblematic of the broader trends in the music industry during the decade. They witnessed the dizzying heights of success, grappled with the challenges of staying relevant amidst changing tastes, and showcased an uncanny ability to adapt and reinvent themselves. In doing so, they not only cemented their place in musical history, but also provided a masterclass in resilience and adaptability. Their legacy, built over this tumultuous decade, stands as a testament to their talent, their bond as siblings, and their indefatigable spirit. The Pressures Off the Stage In the glamorous world of show business, it's easy for audiences to be beguiled by the glitz, the flashing lights, and the mesmerizing performances. We see stars shine on our screens and often forget that behind those sparkling facades are real individuals, grappling with personal demons and the immense pressures that come with a life lived in the limelight. Marie Osmond's journey offers a poignant look into these offstage challenges, laying bare the struggles that often remain hidden from public view. From the outside, Marie's ascent in the entertainment industry seemed nothing short of meteoric. 
With hits like Paper Roses, she proved that she was not just another member of the Osmond clan, but a force to be reckoned with in her own right. But the higher her star rose, the more intense the pressures became. The spotlight, while illuminating her talents, also cast shadows on her vulnerabilities. One of the most heart-wrenching revelations was the harassment she faced from producers. At a weight that would be considered healthy by most standards, Marie was taken aside and berated, subjected to harsh words that left deep emotional scars. She was told she was disgusting, a disgrace to her family, and was mocked about her eating habits. For a young woman already in the throes of navigating her identity and self-worth in a cutthroat industry, such comments were not merely cruel, they were destabilizing. The impact of this harassment was profound. Marie, feeling the weight of responsibility not just for her own career but also for the livelihoods of those working on her shows, began to internalize these criticisms. She embarked on a perilous journey, restricting her food intake to the point where she was robbing her body of essential nutrition. Watching her weight plummet to 97 pounds, one can only imagine the internal turmoil she was experiencing, a battle between her public persona and her private pain. And it wasn't just about the physicality. The emotional and psychological toll was staggering. Marie's revelations give us a glimpse into the isolation that can come with fame. The irony is palpable. Surrounded by fans, adulation, and a team that ostensibly supported her, she felt profoundly alone in her struggles. Marie's experience also shines a light on the broader issues faced by women in the entertainment industry, particularly during that era. Being the only female Osmond in the business meant that she was navigating uncharted territory, bearing the brunt of gender-specific pressures and expectations. As she candidly shared with the Daily Mail, the challenges of growing up as an Osmond female in the 1970s music scene were immense, with the dual pressures of her gender and her famous last name compounding her struggles. Marie Osmond's offstage journey is a testament to the complexities of life in the spotlight. While she dazzled audiences with her vocal prowess and charm, behind the scenes, she grappled with challenges that tested her spirit and resolve. By sharing her story, she not only offers insight into the hidden struggles of fame, but also inspires countless others with her resilience and strength. Donnie's Battle with Perfectionism The sparkling world of showbiz is often punctuated by the relentless pursuit of perfection. From each note sung to every dance move executed, every moment is under scrutiny, magnified for millions to see. In this world, Donny Osmond found himself battling not just external expectations, but also an internal drive that pushed him towards an often unattainable standard of perfection. Donny's entrance into the entertainment sphere came at the tender age of five. With such an early introduction, the world of fame and its accompanying pressures became intertwined with his formative years. For a child thrust into the limelight, there's a narrow path to tread, the jubilation of applause on one side and the pitfalls of criticism on the other. As Donnie grew, so did his intrinsic desire to not just meet but exceed every expectation set before him. His commitment to perfection could be traced back to his years as the unique spark of the Osmonds. Being in the public eye from such a young age, Donnie was no stranger to the pros and cons of fame. As the lead vocalist, he was often under intense pressure to ensure the group's success. Every performance, every song, every television appearance demanded the very best of him. And as the accolades poured in, so did the need to constantly outdo himself. Yet it wasn't just the pressure of maintaining the Osmonds' pristine image or ascending music charts that weighed on Donnie. It was the directorial demand for perfection during their variety shows that further fueled his internal strife. With a director who was a perfectionist, the environment was often rigorous. Countless impeccable outtakes were discarded, perpetuating a feeling that no matter how good one was, there was always room for improvement, always a higher standard to meet. However, the pursuit of unerring perfection is a double-edged sword. On one side, it drives an individual to continuously hone their craft, to push boundaries and innovate. But on the flip side, it can lead to self-doubt, burnout, and an inability to recognize and appreciate one's achievements. Donnie's journey was no exception. 
Over time, he began to recognize that while aiming for perfection could lead to incredible heights, it could also be a cage, limiting his ability to see and embrace the beauty of the imperfect. Looking back at his illustrious career, Donnie's battle with perfectionism serves as a profound narrative about the complexities of life in the entertainment world. While he grappled with internal and external pressures, he also emerged with insights that are universally resonant. In an industry that often places an inordinate value on the superficial, Donny Osmond's journey reminds us of the deeper truths, that sometimes it's the imperfections, the vulnerabilities, and the authentic moments that truly make a star shine the brightest. Balancing Fame and Family In the tapestry of life, where the threads of personal and professional lives interweave, finding a balance is perhaps one of the most intricate tasks one undertakes. For Donny Osmond, this challenge was further amplified. His life wasn't just a blend of personal and professional commitments. It was a tumultuous whirlwind of fame, expectations, performances, and the ever-watchful eyes of fans and critics alike. Amidst this, standing as his anchor and refuge was his family. Yet like many before him and undoubtedly many after, Donnie grappled with the formidable task of juggling the demands of a skyrocketing career with the tender needs of a family. Being in the limelight from the age of five, Donnie's formative years were intricately entwined with the rhythms of show business. Applause, accolades, and adoration became as familiar to him as the comforts of home. This duality was perhaps both a boon and a bane. On one hand, his family, especially given the collaborative nature of the Osmonds, was an integral part of his professional journey. They stood beside him, sharing in the joys of success and providing solace during setbacks. On the other hand, the incessant demands of fame, the tours, recordings, and appearances often pulled him away from the heart of familial bonds, from those quiet, cherished moments that define family life. As years progressed and the Osmonds' fame reached dizzying heights, Donnie's role within the family and as a public figure continued to evolve. The boy who had once been the sparkling lead vocalist of the family band was now a man, with responsibilities and commitments of his own. This transformation, however, came with its own set of challenges. The world saw Donny Osmond, the star, but behind the curtains stood Donnie, the family man, a role that required as much dedication and commitment as any performance on stage. In this journey, Donnie's story is not just a testament to the challenges faced by celebrities, but is emblematic of a universal struggle faced by countless individuals. In a world that often demands so much of our time and energy, finding space for those we love can be an uphill task. Yet as Donnie's journey underscores, it's these very bonds that provide solace, strength, and grounding amidst the tumult of life. In the grand narrative of Donny Osmond's life, his efforts to balance fame and family serve as a poignant reminder. A reminder that while the world may shower one with accolades and adoration, it's the quiet moments, the warmth of loved ones, and the joy of family that truly defines a life well lived. Reflections and Current Perspectives The tapestry of life is painted with memories, some vivid with color, others faded by time. For Donnie and Marie Osmond, their tapestry is not just rich in personal experiences, but also speckled with the glow of limelight, interspersed with the shadow of challenges. As with many, time has provided them with the vantage point to look back, assess, and cherish their journey. The story of Donnie and Marie isn't just about their meteoric rise to fame or the tumultuous challenges they faced. It's about resilience persistence, and the enduring spirit of two individuals bound by blood and shared experiences. As the dust of their immediate experiences settled and years rolled on, the duo found themselves in a place of reflection, looking back at their careers with a mix of nostalgia, pride, and, at times, a twinge of regret. Donnie's perspective on his life and career has matured, much like a wine that becomes more nuanced with age. He once described his journey as a series of peaks and valleys, with Donnie and Marie being a notable peak. Despite the undeniable hardships they faced, the negative moments have faded in his memory, replaced with a joyous nostalgia. There's a unique beauty in this perspective, recognizing that the adversities of yesterday become the poignant memories of today, memories that bring smiles rather than pain. 
Despite the immense challenges, both Donnie and Marie are among the few luminaries from the 70s who have not only sustained their fame, but have also maintained relevance. While many of their peers have faded from the limelight, the Osmond duo continues to shine, their legacy a testament to their talent, determination, and adaptability. Their ability to continually reinvent themselves, to stay true to their roots while embracing change, has played a pivotal role in their enduring success. Today, as they stand looking back at their illustrious careers, they do so with gratitude. The gratitude for the moments that made them, the challenges that molded them, and the love and support that anchored them. Their story is an inspiration, not just for those in the entertainment industry, but for all. It serves as a poignant reminder that life, with all its ups and downs, is a journey worth cherishing. For in the end, it's not just about the destination or the milestones, but about the memories we create, the lessons we learn, and the love we share.